This is one of the slime mould group, growing on some old tree trunks lying in Spears, old school grounds near Beeth in North Ayrshire. The orange area is the slime mould. This one is called Wolf's Blood. Lycogala is the generic name for it. They're very strange organisms. They're not fungi, certainly not plants. They belong to the same group as the single-celled amoeba. Other examples that are found here, in fact, are the tapioca slime mould. That's the size of a dinner plate, even though it's a single cell, which has millions of nuclei inside it, though. Another example is odd name of dog sick, actually growing in exactly this position last year. There are larger examples. There's one called dog's vomit, of all things, uh, certainly known from America. They go for a very strange life cycle. They start off as very small, tiny wee slug-like creatures, but the size of single cells. These enlarge, then you reach this size, and at this point they stop moving, because up to that point they move as a single organism. They then break down, change colour, and become spores like dust and blow away in the wind. comes the blood. So that's where the name comes from. They only appear in a visible form for a relatively short period of time. Certainly once they reach the mature phase with their spores, either the wind or the rain will wash them away entirely.